today's video, we painting. Welcome back YouTube. I am now going to show you how to hook up your hat. We are painting a tiger print. I just recently saw a documentary called Tiger King and I thought like, hey, let me just do a piece inspired by a tiger. Why not a hat? All right, one more thing. I'm Vasu, your art buddy, and we're gonna start with painting. All right, for this project, we need spray paint and acrylic paint. All right, for spray paint, I am using Liquitex water-based acrylic spray paint. And for the colors, I have raw sienna, raw sienna five, and white fluorescent orange. All right, the first step I'm gonna do, I will add some raw sienna five. And right in the middle, I'm gonna spray. All right, after the Sienna 5, I'm gonna spray paint the fluorescent orange. I will use Sienna in some areas. Uh, I would say more in the middle area. Take white. All right guys, I'm gonna then move on to the next step. We will use acrylic paint, black, and a medium-sized brush, about half an inch wide, flat head. And then I'm gonna take black with this brush, a random black stroke. But make sure when you start making these strokes that they are not choppy. Okay, start with the black stroke and I'll do another one next to it. I'm gonna go a couple of times over it to get a nice smooth shape. Now I'm doing stripes from the bottom. They also go with like a similar shape. Start with the leaf.
Okay, so in front of, like right on the forehead area of the cap, on the dome, I'm going to add two curvy lines like this. Make sure you get them in, like as symmetrical as possible. This is for the nose, and that these are for the eyes, and that will be the nose. Okay. And then I'm going to add another curve underneath here. Okay. And then I'm going to go <clears throat> and continue the eye into a stripe again. some more forehead stripes All right, guys, I'm adding crimson and white to get a color for the nose. And then also I'm going to add a little bit of yellow over it. And take some yellow guys and apply inside of the eyes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of black in my yellow to darken it up. And then from the top area, I'm going to darken it out. And then I'm going to add details in the nose. So I'm going to add two curves. Eat opposite sides and then sort of fill it in underneath the curve and thin ridge like a thin line in between a ridge and then I'm gonna darken the underneath area 
even more. It's getting there. And then I'm gonna add dots here. And then on the dots, I'm gonna go straight line. And then I'm adding more stripes because I feel like I need to add more. I am trying to get like half circle inside. I added black dots right starting from the from the top of the eye it's not in the middle it's like a little bit on the top area of the eye the retina I'm gonna add a little bit of red in the eye Now I'm gonna touch up some white areas more, like around the nose. So I'm using medium sized brush. I'm adding some more white underneath the eyes. Some more above the eyes. And in between the stripes. And also on the sides, wherever I feel like to touch it up. I'm adding a little extra coat of white. All right guys, so I'm gonna add sh like shade, shading to the tiger. And it's done by a raw umber or umber shade. Hope I'm pronouncing it right. So it's more like a lighter brown. And then I'm gonna Take a little bit of that paint. Like I, I'm, like see, I'm. If I'm taking the paint, I'm brushing most of it is all, all off. Hold on. 
the way I'm applying the paint, I am getting rid most of it from my brush and just keeping a little bit on my brush, like wiping extra off and then with light hand, you know, you sort of go underneath the eyes. Make a whole line till the nose like this and sort of pull and let it blend in to the rest of the ground color. And a little bit above the nose. All right guys, this is the final result. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you uh, wanna give me suggestions, type in uh, your suggestion in the comments. If you really like what I'm doing and you wanna support me even more, subscribe. And uh, hope to see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.